Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronox, and I'm back to another Epic 7 video. And uh, this is the new week for uh, my raid. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what uh, I've explored. So I know that I'm gonna get a T5 Epic Ring on just the like the second normal pack that I'm gonna face right there, and then uh, by fighting a mini boss I get a heroic tier 5 weapon head north toward the uh, devourer Rahakan boss and I get a T5 heroic helm and uh, after the boss I get a galaxy bookmark so that's to me galaxy bookmarks are the best drops you can get in this place because this is only normal so tier 5 gear is not, uh, you're not gonna use those forever, it's gonna be tier 6 gear. Galaxy bookmarks, as uh, free to play players especially, uh, it does take uh, some time to uh, do explorations in the raid, but uh, to me it's really worth it. I do have the time for it, and uh, I like to just squeeze as, as many rewards as possible out of my uh, two labyrinth compasses. And then I went to check Secretary Vera, and there was the tier 5 epic ring on the way, uh, and she dropped tier, uh, tier 5, actually no, wait, yeah, uh, the pack just before her, the elite, uh, the mini boss before her dropped rare tier 5 uh, uh, helm, and she dropped a tier 5 heroic necklace, but it's not worth it, like, I want the galaxy bookmark. But maybe if on the way, like, I, if I got some better rewards, let's say, and she dropped the galaxy bookmark as well, then I might have went for, uh, to kill her, but decided to explore some more, and, yep, I, I, I found a second tier 5 epic ring on the way to devour uh, Arahakan if I go uh, toward this side. It wasn't the corner, actually, I took the screenshot after. So basically, I can just get the rewards. I can just get, where is it? Yeah, I can get all these. I can get all this plus a second tier five epic ring <laughs> all in one run. So that's gonna be real good. So let's go here. Like, Devourer Arahakan drops this. I want this, but it's all random. Like, the substats could be terrible. And then when I actually go and roll the, uh, the, the weapon, if I get it, maybe the substats are good. Maybe I, I get crit, crit damage, uh, speed, and let's say uh, effectiveness. Or the fourth one could be health, uh, like, it's like, it, it's random. I could never get these substats, and even if I do, maybe all, it all rolls into effectiveness, let's say, and the rolls are the minimum roll. So to me, the galaxy bookmarks are the, uh, are the best rewards you can get <coughs> in the normal uh, raid. <clears throat> and there's also uh, as you can see you can get them from every boss there is a uh, what's called like the contract there's a an item that drops guarantee from each of the bosses and you can use those at the merchant uh, south of the entrance. You just go south one step and you talk to the merchant. She looks like uh, uh, the Alexa hero. And you can buy a gift box for two of those. Uh, wait, Coronation Souvenir, I think, yes. And you can buy a gift, the Queen's gift, and you can possibly get Galaxy Bookmark out of that. But it might be better to save 10 and buy 
either the immunity weapon if you're into PvP or the uh, speed chest piece because like if you get all your rolls into speed and you get the maximum roll uh, tier 5 epic uh, 3? <coughs> 3 speed? So you get one, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15 so that's 5 upgrades that's 5 speed and the base is like 4 I believe so you can get 19 speed or maybe the max roll is 4 actually I'm not quite sure I think it's 3 though so imagine a chest piece with 19 speed it's gonna be hard to replace and all the other 3 substats are, are quite good as well I'm just gonna autoplay this, <clears throat> not too worried here, but just before fighting Devourer Harakan, I'm gonna turn off all my hero skills and and so I can have all my cooldowns ready for the fight. The fight itself is not hard, well to me, uh, it is the second easiest fight in this uh, normal raid. I uh, I find that Secretary Vera is really the easiest. The third one is probably the Fire Boss, and then and then would be uh, the Council, Julie Council, third Executioner Carcanus, and yeah. Believe the council, and the hardest one would be the queen, Azu Mashik. Drops that are good. This ring, if you're into PvP, you get a speed substat and it rolls into it, or you get defense percentage. It's all random, that's why I prefer this. Now, these boots are speed. This is really, it could be really good. 35 uh, speed boots when it's fully enhanced and from the Jolivi Council it would be the the speed necklace for sure this could potentially be really good and it always comes with the health percentage which is not hard I mean it's hard to get on a speed set And from the queen, this is attack set, it's attack percentage. I prefer crit damage on a necklace or even crit chance. But if you're running with like a crit buff, it's 50% crit chance increase for your whole team or just one person that has it. But it's not easy to get a hero that provides crit buff though. But if you're taking end game, let's say. I would prefer crit damage for sure. This is health set, so like, yeah, it can potentially be really good, but it, it's a health set. It's nothing crazy. But if you get speed subset and it rolls a bunch of times into speed or the fast percentage and it rolls a, a bunch into that and, and speed, that'd be really good. Crit set, rage set. Rage set is really good, but you have to have a. It, it's it's for PVE, but if you you're guaranteed to have debuffs on the target you're trying to take down in PVP, you can use it there as well. <laughs> but you need to have everything in sync, and then debuffs might be resisted in PVP, so it's not gonna work out so good uh, on in the long run. It's more for, for PvE. Now, the way I handle the raid is I just explore uh, in every direction. Like, I did not explore all the way toward the, uh, uh, the council. I killed the first elite boss because, like, I knew that my run would be to kill Devourer Rahakan. So, 
I wouldn't have enough morale to go like from the second elite to to devour our account. It wouldn't work. And same thing. Uh, I went toward the fire boss and I killed the first uh, mini boss, but the second one is all the way up in the corner. I wouldn't have the morale to do it. Same thing here. I I went for the elite toward the uh, the first elite. Uh, toward the uh, Secretary Vera boss and the second one is on the way anyways so yeah check that out but it ended, ended up being that this was the best best uh, path I can take is to go kill this uh, mini boss and go back toward the, uh, the entrance and then go north and then turn right before devour Arakan, pad back, and then go for the boss. We'll, we'll have enough morale to do the run. This weapon could potentially be quite good. Like it could be unity set. Like it could roll crit crit damage speed. Let's say. Uh, I mean, oh wait. A weapon uh, best for damage is crit, crit damage, attack, and uh, speed. So it could have all these uh, these four. It's just that heroic versus epic. You're gonna roll one time to to know what the roll is, but on an epic you would have an extra. Uh, it would augment one of the substats that's already there. So you're losing that. Alright, so I get that, I go back, because when you walk, it only costs you uh, three morale. I mean, one morale per uh, three seconds of walking, it looks like. Now I can definitely just camp now. And <clears throat> my camping is not that good. I'm going to go for a Falconer Clury Belief for plus ten. And then I'm gonna go for Happy Memory with Silk. Uh, Diana has it as well, but uh, Silk does not respond well to it. So I think it's something like seven or 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 eight, not even maybe. That's one unfortunate thing with this group setup. But I mean. It could be worse, it could be worse. 19 is, is, is not terrible. When I run with the... Uh, I'm gonna keep all my souls just for the Devourer Rakan fight. So... Yeah, when I run with Destina and... St oh wait, it's... Uh, it's Destina instead of Falconer Clury and uh, Tarnagar instead of uh, Sid. That gives me 18 and 17. So that's a lot, 35. There are some compositions you can run that gives you up uh, like uh, like 40 plus morale. So it lets you just do a few more battles and it might might be just enough for you to to kill two bosses you could kill secretary vera and then kill devourer rakan but the problem is if you do it that way you're not going to be able to go and kill extra things on the side like you don't need to kill two bosses because to me the best thing is to kill the boss that drops um galaxy bookmark and if the boss does not drop a galaxy bookmark well, if no, none of the boss you can kill drops a galaxy bookmark, it would be just kill normal monsters, uh, explore, 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 look for s stuff you need. Tier 5, heroic, be it uh, weapon, uh, helm, uh, wait, weapon, helm, never saw a chess piece, never saw, 
Oh, wait, boots? Never saw boots, I believe. Only weapon and, and helm. And ring and necklaces. So yeah, you go for uh, whichever one you, you want. Uh, of course, like the, the tier 5 epic ring, that's always good. It's a crit set, but I mean, it could roll really well. And I didn't know, but you can actually get two in the same run. And the two that I get are for, from normal monsters. You can get them from mini bosses, you can get them from normal monsters, trash monsters, trash mobs. And yeah. So, like, you don't even need to be able to kill. If you're ha like you're struggling in this place, you can't kill a mini boss, you can, like, work your way around the boss like there might be a tier 5 epic ring that drops and it might be really good for you could be attack percentage main stat I mean could be anything really but it could be crit crit damage uh, speed and uh, like effectiveness or health or defense like something crazy I have attack percentage main stat and I check, I won't tell, but a tier 5 epic, like it would be, would be 10% attack initially, and you always, always multiply the main, main stat number by 5, and it gives you how much it will be when you enhance it to plus 15, so if it starts with, uh, be it like for boots, like 7 speed, will end up being uh, 35 speed. If you got uh, a ring that starts with 10%, it's going to be 50%. Starts uh, with 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 four uh, with um, was it eight percent? It's going to be 40% when it's maxed out. <laughs> All right, so that's the pack that drops the uh, tier five, the second tier five epic ring. So here's the drop so far. A good amount of uh, ancient coins as well. I just got my uh, tier 5 uh, epic ring uh, lifesteal set from the Abyss. And uh, yeah, I should probably turn off my skills now. And I'm trying to enhance it. It's like up to 7 speed now. I Hopefully I can get some more speed or some crit chance gonna put that on my Sid like having uh, Sid on lifesteal because I feel like if he was speedy he would have too much speed and he would go first before Diane which I need her to buff attack for uh, for the group first so it gives him uh, some sustain sustainability and I can use him as my farmer it works, works out real well there we go Second ring, beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna head back. It's close, it's close, huh? If if there was a battle midway here. I couldn't do it. This is so clutch, this run. This run is super clutch. A battle is 7 morale, I'll be at minus 27. And then, I will, uh, when I zone in, when I switch zone and go for the Devourer Arakan fight, it costs me 1 morale as well. So I'm gonna be at minus 28 morale. And as you can see, if <laughs> you don't want to get to minus 31 or less, because that's you're gonna just wipe out on normal monsters. So because the ring was just next to the boss, I was able to get out of the path, take another direction, path back, and I was, and I'm golden, and getting an extra two or five epic ring. So all my skills are turned off, my souls are maxed. This is how you want to approach a boss battle. Now I did not check the health of my heroes, but it's the final battle, so might as well go. 
and pop the potions. There we go. Now, this is what I got. And I'm gonna head in there, turn off auto, of course, and go in. <clears throat> this boss is all about taking your time killing the ads early on. You kill one fast, but I'm gonna buff up. Like, I'm gonna do one round of buffing, it, it's all good. The boss is not a big threat early on, he doesn't have his attack buffed up, crit chance buffed up. Now I'm gonna take out this one. Now you, you could start... You could start and attack the second ad, but you have to be very careful. If you attack it and you get a dual attack from your highest damage dealer, you could potentially just kill the ad instantly. So you really have to be careful. Now I'm fully buffed, like if my Sid dual attacks, I'm in big trouble here. Silk is stunned, so if Sid dual attacks on the ad, he could kill it. So I'm gonna have to be careful. What? I need to do here is look at the hourglass and then I see the boss has 11 uh, combat uh, readiness. Now I have to attack the boss because I have to let my buffs come back for uh, for Diane and for Silk as well. I want the speed buff so I'm just gonna auto attack the boss. No big rush here. Saving up all my things. Because there could be a dual attack on that ad, and I don't want that to happen. I want to be ready. Now all my buffs are expiring because my team's going fast and much faster than the boss. I've got uh, Falconer Clurry with the small amount of healing helping out. You see dual attack here. Just gonna slowly attack the ball. It's all about setting up, uh, getting set up properly. Now the boss is immune to uh, <coughs> to debuffs. Now here we go. Like, check the hourglass. The boss has 75%. No, he has. Which one is it? He has 67% combat readiness. I could. I could try and do it, but uh, my Diane can go twice. I only have Falconer, Clary, and Silk to kill this ad. So I'm just gonna pass one turn. I'm gonna pass one turn. <clears throat> just gonna be safe. The thing is, like, I could get a dual attack from Sid, and it's gonna kill the ad. It's gonna kill the ad. One thing I can do here it is to do the speed buff for the group. But it's not worth doing because the boss is slow. If I do the speed buff, I, my group is going to be so quick. And we're going to go like twice before uh, Devour Our Hakan goes, even if the ad is dead, and then he's going to do his thing here. And I'm gonna lose all my buffs, and then when it comes down to actually bursting him down, it, it's gonna be too late. Now I can actually start and buff myself up. Even, yeah, it's fine, I can do it now. You can't have the perfect, the perfect setup. But this is pretty much as good as it's gonna be. Now here I'm gonna attack the ad. Not a crit, but this proc. So like you, you don't know how if you're gonna crit, if you don't crit, like it's earth earth against fire. Right, pop this thing. I could have actually saved this thing if I wanted for um because when the boss does uh, his uh, corrupted web, he decreases the speed of everyone and he puts a debuff that we cannot get uh, 
buffed anymore. Now, silk. I, I need to do the buff now. 46%. I'm gonna do it now. I want speed on my team. So here I'm just gonna do a normal attack. Uh, auto attack with Diane. Hopefully he goes and like Sid doesn't go. Like you see, like I, now I'm losing turns on the buffs. It's the way it is. That's the way it is. I could have waited one turn for Diane. I could have. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna normal attack. Silk. <laughs> so yeah, slowly losing my buffs. So you see how like how quick this goes. This boss is so slow. Depends how much speed you've got. All right, here it is. Now it's Diane. Diane can only auto attack, so I'm gonna pop the guardian right here. It's just it's all about setting up this, this thing here. If I don't get defense down, which I oh, wow resist on everyone. Resist on everyone. Now Sid goes, there's no defense down. It's terrible. It's it's terrible I, because uh, I could have uh, soul burned his uh, third skill and he would have dealt uh, doubled the amount of damage. Now, if I don't go now, my Sid is just going to do uh, very uh, little damage later because he's not going to have speed buff, he's not going to have attack buff. So it was just 14,000 damage. And the boss already did the, this thing again. So I'm like caught in that. I could be caught in the loop of the boss just. Got defense down. Now I can clear that. And I can. I can go for this, letting two turn defense down is good because the boss is going to go quick. Now I got resisted, like this is going real bad, but still I'm, uh, I'm managing to do it. No defense down, Sid's not applying it, like the run's not going too well. Now, I can potentially speed down the boss. I did. Now, there's no point into doing the third skill. I'm just gonna skill one and get a dual attack potentially, which I didn't. Now, Sid, I could soul burn his third skill with zero buff on himself but you know what like here's the deal if I do it the boss is about to do uh, he's about to get all his buffs again so I could try to go for the burn because I don't have time to actually that's like pretty much the final attack he's gonna get strong again now I, I'm not even critting here this is Pretty much the worst, the worst it can happen. Now I can buff myself. Now I have to stabilize. I have to stabilize. I have to like heal back up. Look like how bad this is going. My silk is almost dead. Need to take out one of the ads. I need to attack the boss. Now I can't even go. I have to kill the boss with these buffs. I can't do nothing to the boss. You know what? I'm not even sure. Maybe 
maybe I can take out something. Let's see. Can I take out like some of like an attack buff? I don't think so. Resistance. That's not good. It's gonna hurt a lot if I do the uh, if I take out the ad and the boss goes. But it's almost like I've got to do it. Sil's gonna die for sure. Let's do damage to the ad. Okay, there's no dual attack from no one. I can just work on the boss like this. I could potentially kill him. Yeah, I've got Sid life stealing a bit. I got Cleary healing the group a bit. The boss is getting stronger, that's the problem. I could redo the whole run, let's say if I die. Let's let's see how much damage it deals. Let me think about it here. Can take one bar. Thing is the boss is 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 too buffed. I can't, I can't do it. Just better hope for a crit. Okay. Let's see. Can I take out something? I don't think so. Yeah, it's good that I don't attack the ad because I need to get this. Oh my god. The ad. I, I, I should have soul burned here, uh, here to have the... Uh, uh, barriers on everyone, it's fine. Really, not getting the defense down from the Guardian was a massive uh, issue there. But not only that, I, I wasn't able to land any of the defense down from, uh, from Sid. And even Faulkner Clurry got this resisted. Like, are you kidding me? It's like misclick, cl press the ad by mistake. Whoa, silk. Alright, soul burn. And here we go. Wow. That was the hardest Devour Arakan fight I, I got so far. That I ended up killing. Not like early on when I, I was attempting him. So yeah, that's the run. 180 ancient coins. Double tier 5 epic rings. Of course, this from killing the boss. Alright, let's see what uh, the rolls are. So, teleport. Leave here. And uh, here, the thing I was saying is... Logistics officer can buy the Quiz Azu Mashik's gift. And you can get one of these. It's probably gonna be 200,000 gold most of the time, but yeah. Best thing in there is the Yaxi bookmark or gold transmit stone. Gold transmit stone, I think it's five for, for five uh, Yaxi bookmarks. Yeah, I could go check just to be sure. So yeah, leaving, let's see. Okay, health, 
health set on the helm and on the weapon, so that's terrible. But the rolls could be good. But these are farmable. Battle results. Silk does uh, about the same damage as Sid because her uh, third skill does area damage. Yeah, that's. Those are good rolls and uh, three speed already. This could potentially potentially be uh, quite good. Flat health. Nope. Okay, the rings. First one. Ah, flat health. Rip. The substats were good though. Three speed as well. And the other ring. Oh, come on. Double flat main stat. Like, it's all RNG, guys. You could be like... Like, I've been hearing this like... Oh, yeah, all this time it took you to do all this and look what you got. But I, I got this. So, this, like, there's no loss here. I got this and I got this. I got 180 ancient coins. And everyone that runs whatever in there... Like could get these rings and it could roll terribly. It, th that's the way it goes. Uh, you could go and do these moonlight summons and get trash, or you could spend a bunch of money in this game and do your moonlight summon and get trash. Like I'm free to play and I, I this is how I spend my time in this game. And yeah, I mean I ended up getting this. You know, y you never know. Maybe I upgrade this and it keeps on landing on speed. This is not terrible, maybe. But like I would only do, bring it to a plus a three, uh, and then see what happens. If, and then maybe give up or go to plus six. But I wouldn't go higher if never rolls on speed. So the one that has speed, not this. This could potentially be good. Okay. I don't really use rare gear. Let's just go with uh, with this stuff. Five, two, three, seven. What really? Okay. So let's keep it like this for now. I don't have the materials to enhance this now what I want to check this thing is not worth upgrading what I want to check is this at plus 12 what it's gonna roll prefer to buy the uh, lesser ones because have more chances Check the shop real quick. That thing. More chances to get good and great. Great. If I used everything on the first turn, I, I wouldn't have gotten nothing. No extra, you know? Seven eight six four. Oh my! What? Nice three crit chance. Not speed, but three crit chance. Not two, three. It rolled twice three crit chance. Okay, so as long as uh, in plus fifteen, if well, whatever I get is a bonus. But like, if it rolls speed. Th three speed or three crit chance that's very good even effectiveness for my city I can use health I mean if it has a high roll that's good too all right that's it for this one guys that's how I uh, explore and uh, do my raids it takes a bunch of time but it's worth the effort uh, the effort as free to play because you don't have uh, like a million sky stones and like I'm progressing in adventures to get my sky stones but when that's done, I'm getting the most skystone I'm getting is from uh, PvP every week, 
and it's like close to 500 and uh, where I'm at I go up to a uh, challenger 2 so I mean yeah I don't have uh, an infinite amount of uh, sky stones yeah 495 and then there's events and uh, of course there's the the sanctuary this thing like as free to play it's definitely worth having this powered up I got so many of my sky stones from here it's crazy and uh, it's, it's like I get triple rewards 50% of the time alright guys thanks for watching I'm Astronox like comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out for now oh yeah the gear the gear do I have I hope the recording doesn't stop um, check my skill ups here this is what I'm showing and here's the gear pause if I go too quick bought this necklace from the secret shop in the lobby it's work guys if you see main stats you want uh, especially tier 6 get it need to change that ring Weapon and chest, they rolled very well. Alright, thanks again for watching, peace out for now.